So, next up, I want to introduce you to our event host and organizer extraordinaire. Uh, Amy is a registered yoga teacher and licensed massage therapist. She teaches yoga, health and wellness classes full-time at Finger Lakes Community College, and belly dance is her beloved hobby and passion. She began dancing in 2014 and previously studied with Michelle Charles, and she currently studies with Aziza of Montreal. She's danced with the Sapphire Belly Dance Troupe and the professional troupe Fire and Spice. So, we're here for the Ovarian Cancer Fundraiser tonight, and as you may or may not know, Amy is a recently advanced stage 3 ovarian cancer survivor. So, after several months of extensive treatments in 2020 and 2021, uh, she took a hiatus from dancing and of course there was that little pandemic thing thrown in the middle of all of that um, but she's returning to the stage for the first time since her cancer survival and she yeah. uh, she is grateful to be here tonight to share her love of this art form with you She's going to be dancing uh, an American cabaret style dance that also has an IU drum solo at the end. So that'll be crazy fun. Um, Amy created this choreography with the guidance of her mentor and input, Aziza of Montreal.
when you have abdominal cancer. Um, and uh, I ended up having to check myself into the ED because uh, it was going to be a two and a half month wait to get a CT scan because it was right when doctors were coming back from COVID. So everything was backed up. 
and then I couldn't bring my husband or anyone with me because of COVID. Um, so I waited nine hours for a CT scan and then got the pretty um, blunt news by myself that I had advanced stage ovarian cancer. I had dozens of malignant tumors in my abdomen. Um, and they started treatments right away. I went into heart failure from the chemotherapy treatments because I got blasted with some pretty high doses. So I, I really didn't know if I would ever be alive after that, much less be able to be here today. Thank you so much. And I just want to thank everybody who's here. Um, uh, Julie has been amazing. I couldn't have organized this event without her. She's really been my right-hand woman through this whole event. And she's awesome. And she's been amazing. I want to thank Mike for doing the music. So he's up there in the DJ booth. Thank you so much for being our DJ of music. I really appreciate it. Um, and some of you may know that um, this show was originally scheduled for June 15th, and um, unfortunately, um, I, I was sick that week, really sick, and I wasn't going to be able to dance, and everybody was so kind to be able to move the date. I Am Smoke was um, so kind to um, allow us to move the date, and I really appreciate it. Mike filled in as the DJ last minute, and Mary Monroe over here, the lovely Mary Monroe, um, also, um, volunteered to be our videographer tonight, and then Michelle Blake over here also filled in um, to be our photographer tonight. And so I'm just so grateful to everybody um, who's helped to make this happen, and of course all the beautiful dancers that are here joining me. It's not a show without all of you beautiful dancers, and I'm just so happy to have all you all here. Um, ovarian cancer is one of the most underfunded cancers that exist, and it's one of the most deadly cancers for women. Um, and and um, a lot of women do die from this cancer, so I really, truly am very lucky to be here today. Um, but part of the reason that I'm here is because the Ovarian Cancer Research Alliance has done so much extensive research that I'm able to take a maintenance treatment drug. It's a little it has side effects, of course, but it's keeping the cancer away and keeping me alive. And a lot of the reason that that drug even um, exists uh, is because of the work from the Ovarian Cancer Research Alliance. It just got approved in December 2018, so it's very new. And so your donations make a huge difference. And um, most women don't even know they have this cancer until it's a late stage three, like mine was, or stage four, because symptoms do not show until it's advanced stage. And there are no screening exams for this exam. Pap smears do not test for ovarian cancer. Um, the HPV virus has nothing to do with it. That's cervical cancer. There's literally no test. So women find out they have ovarian cancer um, when they're starting to feel sick. And when they start to feel sick, they're usually at like stage three or stage four. So um, we, we want to change that. We want to have advocate for routine screening exams. Uh, in my belief that I think we should have routine um, you know, screening exams when we get mammograms, we should be getting screening exams for ovarian cancer too, because even though it's, it's not as common as breast cancer, if you are one of the approximately 1 in 78 women who does get it, um, there's maybe a 50% chance that you're not going to live through it. And this cancer is notorious for also recurring. Um, so the five-year survival rate for this cancer is only about 46%. So um, if you have a chance to make a donation, um, the QR code, you can scan it on your phone. It's tax deductible, and you are making a huge difference, um, not just in women's lives like me, but all of the women that you love in your life, because um, we still don't really even know the, the cause. We have speculations. Genetics can play a part, but it doesn't always. We don't even really know why some women get this cancer. So um, anybody could, you know, it could it could happen to any woman. So um, let's let's try to work together to make a difference. And thank you to everyone who already made a donation. 
And oh, my husband Barry, um, he's an artist, and he has these um, lovely um, artsy drawings of um, belly dance. And if you make a twenty-five dollar donation or more, you get one of these drawings tonight from him uh, while supplies last. And uh, yeah, so we're going to have an intermission, uh, fifteen minutes, and please um, get a drink. Tip your bartenders well. Um, I gonna smoke is such an awesome place. Everybody works really hard here. We want to show our appreciation for them. Um, have fun, and please don't go anywhere because we have an absolutely spectacular second half to our show, and we do not want to miss it. And we have a really fun surprise ending, and you don't want to miss that. So we'll see you in the next